Hi everyone, hope you guys are all doing well. I'm just about to jump into yet another box of Canadian pennies. This one is my third last one, meaning I only have two after this one here. And I also hope you guys enjoyed my cousin's coin collection. If you haven't seen the previous videos, I just showed his silver and numismatic coins as well as some of the paper bills that he had. So I hope you guys all enjoyed those videos and I really appreciated all the comments that you left on those videos. But I'm going to go through these coins as I always do and like always as well, I'll show you guys the results. Be back in a bit. Alright everyone, just made it through the box and it's pretty amazing how consistent the last few boxes have been. We had 829 copper pennies in total, which is 33.2%. Again, our last few boxes, we've been pretty much always between 32 and 35%. And again, it didn't switch on this box here. Let's look at the breakdown for years. With our 1982 to 1996 pennies, we had 800, uh, sorry, 481. These are our 1980 and 81 Canadian copper pennies, and there was 73. Next are our 1953 to 1979 Canadian copper pennies, and there was 227 of those. And finally, with our pre-1982 American copper cents, there was 48. And I'm just going to go ahead and weigh these now. Again, usually when we get around 35%, we are still able to get about 5 pounds of copper pennies. And even though we got... 33%. It looks like if we take into consideration the weight of the pails, we pretty much uh, got dead on five pounds of copper pennies. So again, really happy with that. And I'll just go ahead and set up the numismatic coins and show you guys what we got. All right, now taking a look at the older and numismatic coins that we found from the box. Let's start with our five King George the Six pennies. Our first one there is a 1943. We also had a 1947. Two from 1950, and then lastly, one from 1952. Now we're also able to get six American wheat cents, and we've been doing pretty well with our pre-1940 wheat cents. The first one here is from 1919. Really happy to get such an old one there. Here's a nice condition, 1939. We also had a 1940. A 1942D, a 1946, and lastly a 1948. So six wheat cents. Here are some really good condition 1963 Canadian pennies. We're keeping all the really good condition ones off to the side. Usually we keep them if they're before 1980. And there's two from 1963. There were seven. 1982 American cents. Again, we'll weigh those to make sure which ones are copper. For our foreign coins, we were able to get a two cent euro. And I would say pretty much the bulk of our foreign coins have been these two cent euros. So we got another one there. Now, if you saw our previous Indian head penny, uh, the video that we put up once we found that, I also mentioned that we had another first for this box here. And for that, we had two King George V pennies, which is the first time I ever got two of those in a single box. The first one was a 1932, and the second one there is a 1935. And again, I'll just go ahead and flip it around so that you can see King George V there. Now, in our last few boxes, we've actually done uh, fairly well with these King George Vs. I believe this is our, I think, seventh now, our sixth and seventh. Uh, that we found in our last 12 boxes. So really happy uh, with those ones there, especially since we haven't found too many in the previous two and a half years that we'd been coin roll hunting. And of course, as I mentioned in our previous video, basically the whole video was about this one, we found a 1899 American Indian head scent. And as I mentioned in that video, not the best quality, again quite a bit of scratches and little bit of corrosion, but again, not too worried about that at all. Just really happy that we found our first Indian head scent. Alright, so that's it for our numismatic coins. Again, we're down to two more boxes, so hopefully we can get uh, some really great older ones, and it'd be nice if we got a fairly high copper percentage too. 
But again, thank you so much, for everyone, for all of your comments. Again, if you could like and subscribe and comment on this video, that's always greatly appreciated. But that's it for now, guys. I'll see you next video.